Welcome to Durango Cooks, the cooking show with local ingredients, local chefs, and local flavor. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV. A wise man once said that if you're going to be a real country, you've got to have a beer and an airline. And it helps to have a football team and some nuclear weapons, but at the very least, you've got to have a beer. Now that was Frank Zappa, not a beer expert, but definitely a wise man. Welcome to Durango Cooks. We're here at Carver Brewing Company, and we're gonna go meet a guy named Jeff Alvarella, who's the head brewer here at Carver's, and is doing his part to help make America a real beer-loving country. Cheers. All right, Jeff, pretty exciting. We're heading into the brewery. What are we looking at here? Welcome to Carver's Brewery here. It's a very compact brewery. Mm -hmm. um, got our uh, brew house right here. It's a 10 barrel brew house mash lot ton and a, a kettle whirlpool. You can see three of our six fermenters are in this room as well. Um, with this equipment, we uh, make generally right around 800 barrels of beer a year. What would you say is Carver's niche? If there was one type of beer or one beer that you're known for that you really are proud of, what would that be? Well, actually, uh, one of the beers um, that we're, is very popular in Durango and that we're brewing today, the raspberry wheat. All right, so we're going to get started on raspberry wheat. Let's over, head over there and, uh, All right. and get rolling. All right. Okay, Jeff, raspberry wheat. Here we are. What are we doing? Right, How do we well, make so beer? we're getting ready to start kind of the first step of the process of making beer. It's called mashing. Okay. Uh, mashing is where you mix the grain, um, malt the grain with water. And really, you know, we're just kind of starting the process of making yeast food. It's important in the beer making process. Yeast make beer, brewers make wort. Okay, so we're not making beer, we're making food for the yeast. That's right. Okay. There are uh, you know, less appetizing ways to describe what we <laughs> drink as beer, but you know, the we important thing is that, that um, everybody's happy in the process. The yeast yeah. are happy, the humans are happy. All right. Um, let's go make some happy yeast. All right, let's do it. So we're going to add. Uh, start off by adding some salts to our mash water here. All right. Well, first of all, calcium is an important nutrient for yeast, um, but it also, the sulfate part, helps to kind of change the, it, it actually like seasons the water. So we're going to start dropping some grain okay. into the mash tun. And this is a really simple recipe. Uh, there are only two fermentables in here. This is malted wheat and malted barley. Jeff is up there stirring <laughs> yeah, that's the beer right. with a paddle. It is a very manual brewery that we have here. You know, there's very little automation. With regard to the raspberry wheat, the question I've always wanted to know is when does it turn pink? Ah, uh, yes. When does it turn pink? Well, so at, at, we add raspberries to the raspberry wheat towards the very end of primary fermentation. We dump that, those raspberries in. Um, the, the yeast are still active. They eat up the sugar that, that, the, that the raspberries provide, and then we get that wonderful ruby red color. There so yeah, it, it starts yellow. It starts yellow. And then it Raspberries turns, turn it pink, that's essentially. Right, that's right. Jeff, thanks for showing us how you make the beer here at Carver Brewing Company. Making handcrafted brews, obviously, is a big part of what Carver Brewing Company does, but another part is pairing those beers with a handcrafted menu to make a very unique combination. Thanks, John. You're right. Beer and food, they make a great combination, especially when you have a great chef. And we have a really fabulous chef that's going to help us out today. You may have even been wondering where he is. We'll tell you who it is coming up after the break. Here we go. All right. Thank you. And this, my friends, is the end result of all of Jeff's hard work. This is the Carver Brewing Company Raspberry Wheat. Now, I'm going to sit right here and enjoy this fine glass of craft brewing. You guys are heading into the kitchen to join Louisa Drouet and Chef Dave Kuntz. While John is out there sneaking in a beer because we can't show you that on camera, it's against those legal things we have to deal with, I get the pleasure of being here with Chef oh Dave Kuntz. We Duck found tacos. you. You're in the Corn Carver's sesame. kitchen. Yep. Coleslaw and an Asian glaze. Yeah. Why duck? Uh, duck, just because it's different. It's uh -huh. hard to come by at your, in your house. You can also do this menu, uh, this recipe with chicken. Yeah. You can do a fish taco this yeah. way. We have some diced minced onion, a little minced garlic. There it is. Orange juice. Fresh squeezed Fresh orange squeezed juice. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Then we'll come back with a little more rice wine vinegar. Yum. And then we have sesame oil. Again, we got our oil blend again. And here, we're, this dressing is going to be tossed with our coleslaw. 
Beautiful. We'll just mix quick that around easy. really quick. I just add a little color in there too, some red pepper for some sweetness. Nice. There's that. And then of course we have our duck breast. What I'm going to do here is just trim just a little bit of the fat. Uh huh. What we'll do is we'll slowly start to render it. It's now rendered and you have this crispy, yummy mm -hmm. skin on the outside. Wonderful. I flipped it over uh -huh. and I finished it in the oven. Thinly slice it. If you need sharp <coughs> knives during a coffee company, great selection. We'll place it in our tacos here. Beautiful. And can you smell it? Yeah, absolutely. And it's that's just itself, you know, right. nothing more, salt and pepper. Use every bit, don't waste it all. No. This is one of our new small plates on Beautiful. the menu. We and the winter menu everyone. just came out. So if you haven't been to Carver's in a bit, definitely come out because it's a fresh menu. Definitely. This, this is the Asian glaze. Uh -huh. Had the hoisin right. and the soy, ginger, sweet chili garlic. Mm -hmm. It's all about presentation too. When it comes to your plate, how does it look? Voila, yummy. I cannot waste, wait to taste those. These are simple, easy duck Asian, Asian duck tacos. Uh, very yummy. See more of Chef Dave in action. Join Luisa and Dave for a butternut squash winter salad and a holiday eggnog creme brulee. Learn how to make these dishes and see the exclusive videos on DurangoTV.com slash Carvers. Here we are at the front of Carvers in the beautiful dining area that we all know and love for so many years now. and. I kind of may have already tasted this, so this is why it's not quite as perfect anymore. <laughs> but Dave, you've done a great job, and we're now joined again by Jeff, our head master brewer. <laughs> Tell us what we're going to pair with our dishes today. Oh, well, we've got our extra special bitter um, paired with our salad. The bitterness in that beer is going to cut through the sweetness of that salad and pair nicely with that. We have our Belgian-style double. It's a very fruity, uh, estuary beer that'll pair nicely with the, the fruit in the duck tacos. And then we finish with dessert, our barley wine, uh, served um, with our creme brulee. We'll have a lot of good resonance between the caramelized sugars in both of those. Wonderful, and you have 28 years under your belt this year, not you, Carvers itself, and you're doing something special for that as well. Yeah, this year uh, we're releasing an English-style IPA. Um, it's our Celebration Strong Ale. We'll be pouring it um, all December. Wonderful. Congratulations to 28 years here. We're all so lucky to have Carver's uh, in Durango, a mainstay on Main Avenue here. And thank you for letting us find you and talk with you. You're one of our wonderful chefs in the area. So happy 28th. And if you want to find the recipes online for the food, not the beer, go to DurangoTV.com. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Durango Cooks. Get more of Chef Dave in action. See Chef Dave make a butternut squash winter salad and a holiday eggnog creme brulee. Learn how to make these dishes and see the exclusive videos at DurangoTV.com slash carvers. Thanks for watching Durango Cooks. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV.